Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The John I. Leonard High School administration, faculty, staff, and students welcome you to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, today's ceremony represents the culmination of years of work and sacrifice on the part of our graduates and their families. It is a formal occasion meriting dignified behavior on the part of graduates as well as the audience. One of the cornerstone principles of our school vision is to maintain a respectful environment. In order to further our vision, and in keeping with the dignity of this graduation ceremony, we ask for your cooperation. By not shouting our names or using noisemakers during the ceremony, please silence all cell phones and remain in your seats for the duration of the ceremony until all graduates exit the Expo Center. Thank you for your cooperation and support in making this event a memorable one. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as we welcome the John I. Leonard High School Class of 2021.
please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the singing of our national anthem performed by Jill Jive under the direction of Mr. Rios. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is now my pleasure to introduce our honored guests. Please hold your applause until they have all been introduced. Guests, please stand when you hear your name. Dr. Donald E. Fenoy II. Dean of Discipline, Ms. Lynn Baliki, Certified School Counselor Coordinator, Ms. Lisa Cohen, Certified School Counselor, Ms. Maria Vasquez, Certified School Counselor, Henry Guzman, Valedictorian, John Macklin, Salutatorian, Carlo Fulgenzi, Student Government President, Daniela Mora, Senior Class President. I would also like to recognize in attendance our feeder elementary and middle school principals. Dr. Patty Lucas, CEO Taylor Kirk Lane Elementary. Ms. Nina Land, Heritage Elementary. Ms. Diana Perez, Berkshire Elementary. Dr. Marlene Campbell, Choley Lake Elementary. Mr. Joseph Schneider, Liberty Park Elementary, Mr. James Thomas, Elsie Swain Middle School, Ms. Elizabeth Morales, Okihili Middle School. Next, I would like to take a moment to recognize retiring John I. Leonard High School faculty members. We would like to thank you for a lifetime of service and making a difference in our students' life. Mr. Alfred Barnes, Ms. Lynn Baliki, Ms. Pamela Dell, Mr. Terry Frost, Ms. Antoinette Horniak, Ms. Jane Jenkins, Ms. Colleen Oporto, Ms. Betty Terso, 
Ms. Robin Weaver. Other staff retiring, Ms. Patricia Alvarez. While this ceremony is a celebration of the culmination of many years of work by our graduates, I would be remiss if I did not take time to mention two very special groups of people who are here and have much to do with the success of our graduates. First, I would like to thank the parents of our graduates. Thank you for supporting your children throughout their years in school, and especially these four years of high school. Thank you for your love, guidance, and support for them. And thank you for allowing John I. Leonard High School the honor and privilege of educating your child. I would also like to thank our faculty and staff members who have been so instrumental in developing the minds of our graduates and whose high expectations have been the catalyst in the outstanding achievement of this senior class. I am grateful, and I am sure that you are too, for their dedication and commitment to John I. Leonard High School and all of our students. I am thankful for the fact that they have taken up the calling to be educators. Thank you. <clears throat> At this time, it is my great pleasure that I introduce our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. E. Fenoy II. Dr. Donald E. Fenoy II is the 26th Superintendent of the A-rated School District of Palm Beach County. The district is the 10th largest in the country and has an enrollment of more than 190,000 students. Dr. Fenoy is very proud of the 94.4% graduation rate at district-operated schools. The district is the largest employer in Palm Beach County with nearly 23,000 employees and an annual budget of $3.8 billion. Prior to his appointment as Superintendent of Schools in March 2018, Dr. Fenoy served as the district's Chief Operating Officer for two years. Before coming to Palm Beach County, Dr. Fenoy served as a Senior Area Superintendent of the South Learning Community for the Fulton County School District, where he was responsible for the guidance and improvement efforts of 28 schools. In a prior position as a principal in Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools, his high school received the National School Change Award. This honor is presented annually to six schools in the United States that have demonstrated the greatest academic turnaround in a two-year period. He's a member of the 2015-2016 class of the Broad Academy, Leadership Florida Executive Class 10, and he is a future chief with the Chiefs for Change program. Dr. Fenoy graduated from Florida A&M University with a degree in elementary education. He went on to earn a master's degree in educational leadership as well as a doctorate in educational leadership and administration from the University of Central Florida. Dr. Fenoy and his wife, Kendra, are proud parents of two beautiful children. Please welcome our superintendent, Dr. Donald E. Fenoy II. Well, good morning, everyone. Okay, let's try that again. Today is a great day to be alive, and all of you are graduating. Good morning. Good morning. Now listen, I know we've been locked up for a while, but listen to I'm excited. Let's give you all a round of applause for a great, great morning. So when you look at these things and you look at graduations, you often ask yourself, how did we get here? So let me say this, this is your day. Own it, celebrate it, applaud it. There are many variations to the phrase history repeats itself, such as those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Class of 21, what a ride this has been. I'm fairly certain that none of us would like to repeat the last 15 months, but I can guarantee you that none of us will never forget them. Remember what it took for you to arrive here today, 
perseverance. The past 15 months has served as a testament to the human spirit, to your grit, your resolve, your resilience to succeed in life despite the pandemic-born challenges. Through absolutely no fault of your own, your senior year was not what you expected it to be. While many seniors returned to campus for in-person instruction, others chose distance learning. Daily social interactions were limited and traditional rites of passage that many of us went through were canceled, such as grad bash and prom. Your home life may have also been upended by family tragedy, loss of employment, or even isolation. Thankfully, the dark grip of the pandemic is loosening, and I am very optimistic about the future, about your future, and about the future of our country as you enter college, the workforce, or as my father did in the early 70s, the United States military. Having experienced all of this, you are emerging stronger and more prepared to succeed in life and in career. I encourage you to fully embrace everything that life has ahead of you and help, please help make our world better. When times are tough, draw on that inner strength that you have right now, that strength that brought you here today. Persevere, maintain your positive attitude and keep moving forward. Graduates, the whole world has been reset and your generation has an opportunity to set the next course. Lean into your life. Be mindful and present when it is all too easy and all too convenient to retreat into your very own isolation. Make the choice, make the decision to do the work. Choose a path that challenges you, that interests you, and makes you happier and healthier. I promise you, exceptional possibilities await. Empathize with your neighbors. Use your voice to engage in courageous conversations. Have an awareness of what you take in, but more importantly, of what you put out. Take leaps of courage towards goals and back away from stagnant conditions that prevent you from your full expression and realization of what you have envisioned for yourself. The balance in life is knowing when to lean and when to leap. Be proud of who you are and where you come from. We have 140 different countries represented in our district. Every culture, every varied viewpoint, every unique experience enriches us. You are the sum of all the great things that you have done, that you are doing, and that you will do. Walk with your head held high and your shoulders back to your principals, to your teachers, the entire faculty at your school. I say thank you, thank you, thank you. You have been an instrumental role, played an instrumental role in engaging students and empowering them to graduate. Parents and guardians, you were and will always be your child's first and most influential teacher and the greatest advocate. I'm sure you still remember the day that you sent today's graduates off to kindergarten. People told you not to blink. Inevitably, we all blink and our children become grown. Try as I might, I am really concentrating on not blinking. My youngest child, who is my daughter, will start kindergarten in August. She is already arguing with me, the superintendent, about the required uniform she wears to school, with her hands on her hips, with her multicolored striped leggings and her tutu, telling me that the principal doesn't know what a dress code is. Despite all of the fussing, laughing, and loving that goes into parenting, there is no greater honor than being a parent. While my daughter's graduation date isn't till 2034, I know that like you, I will blink and many of the same emotions that you're feeling right now, I will feel then. Parents, this year has been an, a very emotional roller coaster for you as well. Still, you put the needs of your children first. You encourage them to stay on course, promising that the investment in their future will pay off a great dividends, and it has paid off because you're here. So today we celebrate you. Parents, faculty, and most importantly, our esteemed graduates, give yourselves a well-deserved pat on the back because this milestone was a group effort. Despite the pandemic forced social distancing, no one got to this point in isolation. 
graduates, there are some things that you will lose as you get older, like your beautiful hair, your beautiful youthful physique. But one thing that you will never lose, one thing that they can never take away from you is your diploma. Treasure it because we did not give it to you. You earned it. Today you are graduating, but you will always be a student of life. Seize every life lesson. Your generation holds the future for all of us, and I'm proud that it's in your capable hands. Continue to question, continue to explore, continue to innovate. Whether your next path is college, career, the military, traveling, or whatever else inspires you. Class of 2021, on behalf of our illustrious school board, the entire school district of Palm Beach County, I offer my heartfelt congratulations. And I thank you for the honor and the privilege of allowing us to educate you, but most importantly, to grow with you. So now, I need you all to take your rightful place in society, pay a few taxes, continue to persevere, and you lead us into the future. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you, Dr. Fanoy, for your leadership. Now, I would like to introduce our student government president, Carlo Fulgenzi. Good morning to my classmates, their loving families, alumni, and our dedicated staff. I'm honored to be able to speak up on the stage and very thankful for the opportunity. But before I start rambling, I would like to thank the people who helped push me along these past years. Mrs. McGregor, for always being there to pat me on the back or slap me on the wrist when I deserved it. Mrs. Patterson, for staying vigilant during this crisis of a year and leading us all to success. My mom, for always making sure I do the dishes and definitely Quizlet for everything else. To commence, I wanted to give a big shout out to the students because we did it, we graduated. Moving out of our comfortable classrooms. <laughs> Moving out of our comfortable classrooms into the real world, it can be daunting and very stressful, but I have the utmost faith in this class because we've been through three times as much as any other graduating class. Most of us will look back on this year and not see any good, but if we step back from our six-foot bubbles, we can see how much we've surpassed the hardships and expectations put in front of us. I think I speak for all of our families when I say we should be proud of ourselves. Nothing can stop us now. Four years ago, we walked into John I and immediately felt small. We were the little fish in the lake that was high school. It's finally time to be little fish again, but now we're free to pursue whatever avenue we choose. No matter what path we take, we need to remember the lessons we've been taught these past years. Number one, be true to yourself. Never make decisions based on what others want from you. The only opinion that matters is your own. Number two, there's no six there's no excuse to use the word can't. Our opportunities in this country grow every single day, and it is only our responsibility to make use of them. Number three, respect the people around you. In other words, treat others the way you want to be treated. You already know that rule, so let's follow it. Once again, I want to express how proud each and every one of us should be. It's time for the big leagues, and we're more than ready. We're Lancers. Thank you all for listening, and congratulations to the class of 2021 Good luck and Godspeed. Thank you, Carlo, for those inspiring words. It is now my privilege to introduce to you John A. Leonard High School's Class of 2021 Salutatorian, John Macklin. John graduates with an HPA of 5.0, an impressive SAT score of 1410 and over 100 community service hours. John has been an exceptional student in John I. Leonard's Medical Academy. Over the course of his four years, John has successfully completed 10 ACE courses and passed each ACE exam earning an ACE diploma with merit. While in the Medical Academy, he has earned certifications in EMR, CMAA, EKG, PCT, 
vital signs, blood-borne pathogen, CPR, and first aid. Additionally, he has received his Microsoft Expert Certification and Compassion Microsoft Word, PowerPoint Access, and Outlook. John is a member of the Health Occupational Students of America Club. He has dedicated a great deal of time serving his community by volunteering at JFK Hospital, New Pines Child Development Center, Blood Drives, Boy Scouts of America. In his spare time, John works as a cashier at his family's business. John, the son of Kim and David Mackland, plans to continue his post-secondary education studying medicine at the University of Florida. Please welcome the class of 2021 salutatorian John Macklin. Good morning, everyone. I would like to take a moment to welcome you to this momentous occasion and to say thank you, faculty, staff, administration, friends, and most importantly, family. Thank you for all your support. To the class of 2021, it's okay. Take a deep breath. Today is one of the most important days of our lives. We've made it to the finish line. No more assignments, no more tests. Not only have we completed high school, we did it during a pandemic. Now that it's over, we'll all be able to complain about how difficult it was to go back to school in our day. So much has changed since our first day as freshmen. We all remember getting lost on a brand new campus, scurrying to find our first class. From our days as confused and nervous freshmen to our present selves, worn out, yet successful, seniors. Shout out to the last of senioritis. I too have struggled with that horrendous affliction. I never imagined I would be on stage today speaking to all of you. I remember the moment Mrs. Patterson and Mrs. Lord showed up to my front door and bestowed upon me the title of salutatorian. When I told my parents I got an email saying the principal would stop by our house, they, they thought it was a scam. <laughs> with all that we have experienced and everything we've already been through, I could not get away without addressing the current events that have transpired. This pandemic has affected us one way or another. It is strange seeing so many people after all this time being alone, interacting with dots or icons on a screen, and commending the few brave souls who had their cameras on in every class. I know it was, it was rough for our teachers to adjust to Google Classrooms and remote teaching. There were always problems, like technology breaking down at opportune moments, or a teacher continuing to speak while muted. I think we all expected school, high school to be different from what we had imagined, but no one really expected, well, this. There were some positives in quarantine. Staying at home for meals and not worrying about traffic was a plus. Junior year's ACE exams being canceled was a dream come true. But we lost out on so much. We missed important senior events like prom and grad bash, as well as an entire year missing out, missing our friends and teachers. Who could have imagined our last year together would have been separated by a computer screen? Now, we've reached the conclusion in the high school arc. We've unfortunately encountered the COVID plot twist near the end. However, remember that Einstein once said, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. We've persevered through it all, and our opportunity awaits. Thank you. Thank you, John, for your encouraging words. It is now my privilege to present our highest academic award, John I. Leonard High School's class of 2021 valedictorian, Henry Guzman. <laughs> Henry graduates with an HPA of 5.14, an impressive SAT score of 1310, and over 350 hours of community service. Henry has been on the academic honor roll throughout his high school career. He has been an exceptional student in the Computer Technology Academy, fostering his passion for technology. While at John I. Leonard High School, he has completed nine ACE courses and earned passing scores on all of the exams to earn his ACE Merit Diploma. 
Henry has been an active member of the Advancement via Individual Determination Program and the National Honor Society. He has volunteered as a math tutor in the John I. Leonard Math Lab, Blood Drives, Dress for Success, and various National Honor Society events. Most recently, he represented John I. Leonard as a Mathematics Pathfinder nominee. Henry, a first-generation student in the United States and the son of Tania Guzman and belated Nelson Guzman, plans to attend the University of Florida this fall to pursue a career in mechanical engineering, specializing in the combustion and propulsion industry. Please welcome the class of 2021 valedictorian Henry Guzman. Good morning, everyone. I would like to start off by thanking all the faculty and staff for their extensive compassion and resilience throughout this demanding year. It is no secret that this past school year has not been a forgiving one. Everyone has faced some type of struggle, and yet we have collectively persevered throughout our hardships, and in doing so, have become better versions of ourselves. Throughout my high school career, I, ha I have also had to cope with my own set of struggles that I believe have been fundamental to my development as both a student and a person. One of these being my father's diagnosis of brain cancer when I was in middle school. As the years progressed, he began to mentally deteriorate to the point where his memory failed him far too frequently and he couldn't work. As a result, my mom had to quickly find a job to support our three of us. I can only imagine the panic and emotional strain that these events brought my parents. Nevertheless, they never stopped and always gave their 100% no matter what. Their constant bravery and effort to face a new day inspired in me the drive and desire to achieve the best that I possibly can. Regardless of the challenges life throws at me, I strive for a better situation and never truly give up on my life's passions and goals. Unfortunately, my father has recently lost his nearly six year battle with cancer back in February. His determination and strength to persevere is something that I will forever cherish. These are the same traits I see within all of you in this graduating class. We can all achieve our goals no matter what our plans for the future are. We will explore and fulfill our passions even if they diverge from the pre-imposed societal norms of success. Each and every one of you has, has the vast potential to impact the world in a, in a way that genuinely makes us happy. The most valuable lesson that I have learned throughout high school and this last year is that Life is exactly what you make of it, no more, no less. If no effort is put in to obtain what you desire in life, then it will never be attained. Success in life requires drive and passion, regardless of the scale of your goals. Finally, I would like to thank my friends and family, my girlfriend Michaela, teachers and AVID for providing me with the motivation to advance my goals for my undergraduate career. Most importantly, I would like to thank my mom and my dad for everything that they have encouraged me to achieve in my, in my, in my high school career. Class of 2021, it has been an honor to have studied alongside you all. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Henry, for sharing your inspirational story with us. Once upon a time, there was a great warrior, a lancer who accomplished much in his or her time. The lancer started his or her crusade young and inexperienced. In the early years of the mission, the lancer was a dreamer. When the Lancer lay down at night after a long day of traveling on horseback, he or she would dream of the day that the mission would end. According to this Lancer, the mission would end in a glory and a hero's welcome. It did not take long for the Lancer to realize that dreaming about the end of the mission was not enough. The Lancer had a major internal struggle. In order to survive and stay alive, he or she needed to do more than dream. The Lancer needed to align 
his or her thoughts and physical endurance to go beyond his or her survival skills and envision a fruitful life at the end of the journey. The Lancer's role was to conquer new territories. The armor, the lance, the shield, and the horse were invaluable to the Lancer when in battle. Even more invaluable were the relationships and the camaraderie of those that were side by side with him or her from sunset to sundown. It must be noted that for the Lancer to prepare for battle and build character, he or she must endure difficulties and overcome obstacles. This was the Lancer's task while traveling to distant lands and gathering as much intelligence as possible. The Lancer learned how to transform, acquire knowledge into wisdom. Time went by and the Lancer was no longer young in body, but an experienced veteran. The mission was always clear. No matter how much time went by or how far he or she traveled, one day, the Lancer received notification that he or she may return to the kingdom. Finally, the mission had come to an end. As expected, a hero's welcome awaited. To the Lancer's disappointment, the hero's welcome did not measure up to the overwhelming feeling of accomplishment that the Lancer had after dozens of battles, gained friends, lost friends, made enemies, and conquered territories. Graduates, like our historic Lancer before you, you both have much in common. You have a mission to accomplish. Your mission has nothing to do with conquering faraway lands, however, your mission has everything to do with defeating ideas and systems that are divisive. It is my hope that you would dream of a world of peace where friends and enemies learn how to shake hands and use common grounds to resolve differences. It is my hope that you would dream of a world where truth perseveres. It is my hope that you envision the never-ending journey of knowledge acquisition. You will not go through the world fighting with a lance and an armor and on a horseback. However, it is my hope that you go through the world educated with character and the knowledge that opportunities are always meant to be taken. More importantly, it is my hope that you go through the world building relationships and finding refuge in family and friends. Much like our Lancer, it is your duty to travel and surround yourself with those that are not like you as a way of nurturing your schemas of understanding and expanding your points of views. May your formal years of education, your life experiences, and your values take you through obstacles and difficulties. By no means, and I say that again, by no means may you go through life avoiding complex situations and fearing the unknown. Your mission is clear. Be of service to others. Speak the truth. Work hard. Be a good friend. Be a good son or daughter. Be a good citizen of the land that carries you and the one that gave you heritage. Be respectful. Be a critical thinker. Be a listener. Be an observer. Use your voice. According to me, it is your mission to be a Lancer at heart and the difference among those that surround you. Be the one that advocates for understanding the one that heals with kind words, the one that does not need a hero's welcome, the one that leaves a trail of knowledge and evolution. Graduates, be the Lancer that turns knowledge into wisdom. Congratulations, class of 2021. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome Jonah Leonard's band, 
under the direction of Mr. Jocelyn Superintendent, school board members, and honored guests, as the principal of John I. Leonard High School, I certify to you that the class members presented have met all of the school district and Palm Beach County and State of Florida graduation requirements. Now, the moment, the moment we all have been waiting for, the awarding of diplomas. <laughs> During the presentation of diplomas, I ask that you remain in your seat so that others may see. Please refrain from using noisemakers so that others may hear. Thank you. Honored guests, please join me for the presentation of diplomas to the members of the John I. Leonard High School Class of 2021.
valedictorian Henry Guzman. Help me, help me. Gotta fix this. Salutatorian John W. Mackland. Daniela Mora. Carlo Joseph Fulgenzi. It's okay. okay. Jose Abun Abunza. Jorge Miguel Ashite. Mahmuda Akhtar. Shalman Alcid. Danny Alexis. Marcos Almanza. Brandon Alvarez. Andrea Jennifer Ariaga. Amanda Marie Ashby. Jair Barrios. Giselle Bentoncourt. Melissa Borges. Hermquavius Dubedad. Arianaika Noel June. Ashley Joseph. Ariana Carbajal. Kenny Carrillo. Elvia Casas. Joanna Chaudhary. Kirsten Elizabeth Cooper. Stephanie Corrales. Mariana Corletto. Ezekiel Cotto Gonzalez. Jennifer Daniel. Genesis Del Valle Orozco. Ostelvis Diaz. Elijah Diedrich Godel. Sandra Elma. Aurelis Anya Estrada Castillo. Joanne Frederick. Juan Gallego. Guadalupe Magdalena Garcia. Lisbeth Garcia. Michael Anthony Garcia. Tony Gelisanga. Juliana Geraldo. Roger Gonzalez. Rachel Marie Hammond. Angela Eve Herat. Luna Hernandez. Your card. Your card. Adriana Hernandez Acosta. Keep it moving. Dianette Hernandez Morales. Isabella Jaramillo. Melina Cardozo. D'Angelo Pierre. Rebecca Kennedy. Lakshina Jean Lees. Darren Lee Jones. 
Giovanni Omar Joseph. Carlos Alberto Lebron. Heidi Yorens. Juan Lopez. Maria Del Carmen Lugo. Lorraine Luchman. Genevieve Martinez. My Elena Milagros Martinez. Ricardo Martinez. Laisha Martinez Diaz. Maria Maya. Lawrence Mendoza. Pablo Augusto Mendoza. Yesenia Mendoza. Brooke Malazzo. Andre Noble. Diana O'Reilly Cardet. David Ortega. Rolnesha Rolney Oscar. Luis Pena. Jessica Pena Diaz. Regini Petty Ohm. Joseph Pichardo. Brian Pino. Abigail Pewterbaugh. Ariana Alyssa Ramjohn. Victoria Raquel Ramon. Ariana Rendon. Tillman Richardson Ramirez. Douglas Rodriguez. Johanna Rodriguez. Melanie Rojas. Juliana Romero. Zachary William Rooney. Peyton Alexandra Roy. Vicky St. Floor. Alvaro Sanchez. Christian Sanchez. Samantha Sastro. Kayla Lydia Sipersad. Ariana Nicole Sinclair. Alexia Solis. Hector Antonio Suarez. Isaiah Jose Suriel. Iverson Lado Tabernia. Jade Calvin Tabernia. Corey Dwayne Thomas. Abigail Marie Trinidad. Michaela Angeli Trinidad. Sheldon Turner. Emily Aneth Vargas. Joseph Vargas Acevedo. Luis Vasquez Torres. Lisbeth Vasquez Sienz. Zori Williams. Cindy Zacharias. Stephanie Zerquera. Sierra Jasmine Abele. Emily Acosta. Dashiel Acosta. Kayla Acosta. 
Hades Acosta Mateo. Amari Joel Adams. Michael Moses Aid. Carl Andy Adolf. Viviana Aguilar. Karen N. Aguilus. Brian Oscar Aguirre. Amira Ahmed. Aiden Ahmed. Mohammed Shabir Ahmed. Tufik Ahmed. Kareem Alaze. Brianna Sabrina Albarran. Kina Alcine. Thomas Alfaro. Gabriel Ivan Alonso. Leandro Alfonso. Valentina Algarín. Carolyn M. Almeida Moya. Anthony Therese Altamar. Brianna Esther Altida. Cristian Alvarado. Mari Carmen Alvarado. Naum Alvarado. Tomás Alvarado. Kiara Alvarenga. Delaney Alvarez. Jorge Amador. Ana Gabriel Amador. Ezra James Anderson. Janet Andino. Gretel Andion. Mariana Michelle Aparicio. Debbie Aristildi. Deborah Arocho Maisonet. Maiza Kareem Aroni. Joel Avila. Ana Karen Avila Vasquez. Brian Aviles Pineda. Kevin Ayala. Lawrence Barro Trujillo. Michael Thomas Beck. Aldo E. Bello. Andy F. Benitez. Steven Benitez. Franz X. Cohn Benjamin. Danny M. Betancur. Samantha Bach. Jonan A. Bonilla. Joshua Bonilla. Wilson Bonilla. Erika Borrego. Jose M. Bracero. Michelle Bravo. Brooke M. Brodock. Chanel B. Brown. Carlos, Carlos. Carlos Abrego. Connor Lawrence Brown. Tasai Venice Brown. Brianna Bryant. Adriana Burgos Rivera. Andrea Burgos Rivera. David Cabrera. Ronald A. Cacique. Will be Cajust. Brandon Jose Calix. Justin Alexander Calix. Sarah A. Calderon. Bria Campbell. Cesar Steven Canas. Juan Pablo Cardona. 
Ronald Cardona. James Cartwright. Joseph Everardo Casas. Natalie Casillas. Carlos Cesar Castillo. Loana Daniela Castillo. Melanie Castillo. En, en español, <laughs> Karen Castro. En español. <laughs> Paula Castro. Antonio Caudillo Garcia. Kayla C. Cedeño. Shirley S. Serrato. Chloe A. Charles. McCallie Habdel Charles. Dominique M. Charlton. Dixon Chavez. Arlette Chavez Villa. Bianca Charisma. Natalie Chinea. Latavia T. Christie. Aliyah Clentscale. Alan Stouffer Cleverless. Davidson Cleveryant. Carlos G. Colmenares. Destiny Marie Comrie. Emily Contino. Jesus E. Contreras Salinas. Pharrell Cooler. Tristan Courtney. Johan Cruz Acevedo. Josue Alberto Cruz Montes. Julio C. Cuellar. Ashley E. Cuello, Cuello. Jada S. Dash. Savannah Josette Davidson. Henry E. Dean. Adriana De Armas. Kayleen De Armas. Roger Delgado. Kayla DeMayo. Tyler Shea Hurley Dempsey. Marcus Desir. Esperanza Desjardins. Cecilia E. Diaz. Danielle E. A. Diaz. Ricardo Diaz. Rafael Diaz Pineda. Tyler Logan A. Dixon. Ariana Giovanna Dominguez. Josue Dorsent. Nathan Dorsonville. Gabriel Jacob Dorley. Valentino McCoy Duque. Sophia Duran. Dane Dyer. Cody Michael Elder. Tiana Monique Ellis. Karen S. Elvir. Lydia Starr in England. Silvestre Escobar Franco. Lisandra Esabari. Roxanne Pasión Eseguerra. Cristian Espinosa. Ashley Estrada. Cristian Estrada. Adriel A. Euliti. Nicole Grace Fernandez. Jonathan K. Fernandez. Stefano Andres Fernandez. Stefania Fernandez. Christopher Ferville. Roger Manrique Fiallos. Ernesto Figueroa. 
Diego Alejandro Figueroa Lopez, Clara Joseph Filofils, Erica Renee Fisher, Isabel M. Fletcher, Ruben Flurry, Ann Anna Flores, Edwin Flores, Jair E. Flores, Jasmine Flores, Deanna Jamiles Flores Perez, David T. Fonseca, Brianna Frankie, Aylin Esperanza Freda Mores, Sonia Frederick, Christian, Christian D. Fuentes, Leslie Fuentes, Winston G. Funes Caballero, Adriana Garay, Catherine Garcia, Guadalupe Garcia, Janet Garcia, Jocelyn Garcia, Tiana K. Garcia, Kaylee Garza, Bernard Germain, Rebecca Jean Gibbs, Juan Hill, Enrique Gokichoa, Daniela Gomez, Yorlan Vladimir Gomez Lucas, Ana Alejandra Gonzalez, Brittany Gonzalez, Daniela Gonzalez, Darlene P. Gonzalez, Jocelyn Julieta Gonzalez, Yacelis M. Gonzalez, Jocelyn Gonzalez, Yuritza Gonzalez, Reginald C. Gordon, Shailene Lucille Grice, Sarah M. Guerrero, Angel Gavier Guevara, Carl Guillaume, Elijah Ray Gutierrez, Hector M. Guzman, Shanna K. Haley's, Adrian Henao, Jeffrey Harris, Alina Desiree Hernandez, Anayelis Guadalupe Hernandez, Aileen Hernandez, Eunice Hernandez, Joseph P. Hernandez, KB Waleska Hernandez, Laura Lentes M. Hernandez, Jahir Jacob Hernandez Rivera, Julian Davis Hernandez Salinas, Dejane C. Holloway, Jimmy Jose Hurtado, Natalín Marie Inestrosa, Diana Iníguez, María M. Isales, Jaylee Izquierdo Martínez, Jordan Cassius Jean, Ashley Jean Baptiste, Alisa Jean Giles, Esaís Jean Lewis, ne Nehemiah Nassad Jeremy, Brianna Denise Johnson, Jabari Arnez Johnson, Franbert Jol Joltius, Kevin Charles Jones, Tremaine Bernard Jones, 
Wayne Shay Jones. Wei Shane Jones. Aguirre Joseph. Geraldson Joseph. Job Joseph. Juberson Joseph. Brandon Lauren Labadee. Emily Patricia LaChapelle. Hensika Lafayette. Kathleen Lang Figueroa. Leonard Jose Lara. David Laurano Agosto. Abigail S. Lawrence. Juan C. Leandro. Michael H. Leban. Cesar A. Lemus. Jessica Dominguez, Leon Dominguez. Kayla L. Lewis. Tijara Lightsey. Tira Lightsey. Tiara Lightsey. I'm sorry. Kevin Llanos. Anthony Josue Lopez. Brenda Yatsiri Lopez. Jimmy Lopez. Ronald A. Lopez. Amanda Denise Lopez Gomez. Marisol Lopez Perez. Dudley Lucien. Curvins Matias. Jaden Thomas McGann. Taina Alize Maldonado. Galen Garcia. Jennifer Manricker. Johnny Mankeda Guillen. Gabriela N. Mariadaga. David A. Mejia. Sean McConaughey. Rachel Matute. Darius C. Matthews. Christopher Giovanni Martinez Sosa. Cassandra Martinez Leon. Roberto Martinez. Jonathan Martinez. Francisco Marroquin Martin. Bashar R. Marcos. Deanna Marban. Joshua F. Mejias. Samantha Mejia. Angel Mendez. Jas Jessica C. Mendez. Stefan Mendez Diaz. Elsie G. Mendoza. Joseph Fabian Mendoza. Romario D. Mendoza. Yudler Mildort. Alexander Milian. Brian E. Molina. Bianca Lisette Monjaraz. Otto Ivan Monterey. Jacqueline Montes. Jennifer Morales. John Morales Guzman. Roberto A. Morales. Michelle Morales. Isabel L. Moreno. Claudio Albieri Morales Humana. Marcelo Moreno. Nelson F. Moreno. Denisha Lanisa Morgan. Alanis Munoz. Luis A. Munoz. Leslie Munoz Ramos. Andrew Kirk Murray. Adeline Z. Navarez Pedro. Diana Navarro. 
Jesuli Noelia Nerio. Joshua Mark Newton. Roshan Isaiah Newton. Orialis Nicole Nieves Cole. Roberto R. Do Nora. Eduardo Nogal. Melanie Nuila. Chris Crystal Nunez. Nicole Oberto. Brianna Marie Odell. Samuel Ojeda. Courtney Olive. Samuel Oliveira. Natalie O'Rourke. Keishani Orf. Claudia Ortega. Alejandro Ortiz. Daniela Ospina. Kenneth Padilla. Heidi Parada. Vladimir Parlenko. Ali J. Parra. Gabriel Vicente Patino. Erika Patricio. Tasia Patterson. Akela Peart. Jorge Antonio Peña. Danesha Nikeria Penn. Vilmen Estuardo Peralta Aguilar. Jose Abraham Perdomo. Yes, Brian Perez. Jesus Perez. Lisandra Perez. Lisandro Perez Enrique. Karen Abigail Perez Hernandez. Juan Pablo Paros Rao Rodriguez. Isaac Noble Perry. Danishka B. Petihom. Ming Kong Pham. Nancy Layden Philippe. Ramon Picardo. Diderot Pierre. Kimberly C. Pierre. Vadley Pierre. Sarah R. Pierro. Rakim Reginald Pinder. Kevin Pineda. Fernando Ponce Ramirez. Emily Xiomara Ponce. Catherine Chanel Portillo. Rudesha Jessina Pratt. Adayanis Pupo Perez. Kiara Cecilia Quiñones. Katia Melin Quiñones Sanchez. Jordan Quintana. Melissa Quintero. Amina Lala Ramon. Glenis Ramos. Manuela Ramos Perez. Ramona Rafael. Cassidy Redlin. Maria de Rindon Melo. Agustina Milagros Reynoso. Gilda Rivadeneira. Ramona Luquis Roberts. Shania Robinson. Stephanie Rocha. Carmeni Roche. Brian Jose Rodriguez. 
Carly Rodriguez. Christian Gabriel Rodriguez. Edwin Rodriguez. Elizabeth Rodriguez. Dominic Rojas. Isaac X. Rojas. Harry Oscar Roman Sanchez. Andrea G. Romero. Sharian Rosado. Herman Rosario. Blake Rouse. Ariana Rovira. Jacqueline Ruiz. Malia I. Ruiz. Melianis Ruiz. Montserrat Ruiz. Yamir Ruiz Marrero. Kenya Ruiz Rosales. Abdul Hakim Russell. Michelle E. Russell. Maya Saez. Diane Saint. Go ahead. Danielson Saintidis. Angie Gaspar. Kadir Salas. Cesar E. Salas Melo. Brian Albert Salazar Campo. Justin Salgado. Angel Luis Samano. Jasmine G. Sanchez. Jonathan F. Sanchez. Jorge Sanchez. Reynaldo Sanchez. Rogelio Sanchez. Jonathan Sanchez Nunez. Mauricio Santiago. Heidi Marie Sardina Salomon. Alexis Nicole Saraga. Michaela Doris Scaife. Faith Hope Schofield. Sarai Scott. Alicia Sebastian. John Quavian Short. Max Yandeline St. Val. Santia Silencio. Alberto Silva. Ashley Silva. William D. Simon Lopez. Taina Sign. Jennifer Sorto Nunez. Ezequiel M. Sotelo. Mike Souffrant. Philip St. Clair. Alexandra Nicole Stolberg. Asendai Sweeting. Heaven J. Tapia. Sarah Tayeb. Rajiv O. Tamek. Ethan Thompson. Tavion L. Thompson. Alexis Torres. Daniela Torres. Vanessa Yamali Torres. Joan Torres de Olio. Daniel Trejo. 
Adalberto Garcia, Rudy Murphy Ulis, Kaylin Urmanzor Aquino, Danae Underwood, Jenalyn Urbe, Giselle Urieta, Maria Citlali Urustegi, Belinda R. Valdez, Talia Valdez, Sander Lee Van Camp, Kayla L. Van Dyne, Carlos D. Vasquez, Daniela Viton Prieto, Sabrina Veloria, Yulesli Villegas, Cariana Villegas, Juliana F. Vilca Cespedes, Ashley R. Vidal Leiva, Leslie A. Vidal, Estelida Paul Victor, Jesus Velasquez Ruiz, Yaniesca Velasquez, Celindian Velasquez, Angela Rosales, Hadassa Vega, Arfa. Arfa Wahid, Vanessa Wasim, Nukaya Webb, Adriana Lorena Weber, Noresha White, Darius Levanta Williams. Erica M. Morales, Maicha Achosa K. Williamson, Javaya Wyatt, Emily Ibarra, Jessica Yepes, Daniela Zamora. Jose T. Savala, Adriel A. Zelaya, Sabrina Zelaya, Jeremy J. Zelaya Portillo, Mariah Magana, Alondra Lisset Zarate. Elena Taylor, Danielle Pinson, David Pinson, Kalu Zeno. These are the ones we're reading, they're just not here. The following we are reading, they are not, not in attendance. Elizabeth Andrade, Vanilla Bruni, Isabella Jaramillo, Heidi Llorenz, David Ortega, David Cacique, Brenda G. Cacique Miranda, Brian Diaz, Liz Annette Diaz, Jose Franco, Natalie Gonzalez, Talik C. Griffin, Ronquavius Knox, Julian Khalil Manning, Jada Ann Martin, Claudia T. Perez, Fiorella Ramirez Luna, Aleya Stanizuski, Ariana Maria Segala, and Annabelle G. Trevino. Congratulations.
It is my pleasure to introduce Daniela Mora, the class of 2021, president for the turning of the tassel. Class of 2021, please stand. After the turning of the tassel, please have a seat and wait to be called to pick up your diploma. It is now my esteemed honor to take you through this final step. Graduates, please join me in turning your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, <laughs> class of 2020. It is with great pleasure that I present to you the graduating class of John I. Leonard High School, class of 2021. Thank you for sharing this special occasion with us. Absolutely. <laughs> this concludes our ceremony. Graduates, please remain in your seats until your line leader directs you to receive your diploma. Guests, your graduates will meet you in the front of the Expon Center. Thank you and congratulations.